Once again, I'm going shopping for locust posts. I'm driving out way out into the country. You think we live in the country. I'm driving way out. Okay, I've got an awesome load. These are so heavy and I loaded this little truck down. Something I've re-realized through this process of looking for locust fence posts is that the internet is really only helpful in a, to a limited extent out here in the country. So every time, I make a connection with someone, sometimes it starts through the internet, I get a phone number, I learn their name, I'm so happy because I feel like I'm just tapping into this country internet which is just word of mouth connections and telephone. It's so, so different. So our friends have come over and we've moved the goats to our front yard. So they're actually right in front of the house. The house is right here and the goats are right here. This is just a temporary setup so the goat pen is out of the way for us to put fences in by the barn. So they'll just be out here while we're here to supervise them during daytime hours. So we probably just spilled that. See, is it coming out? Are you showing off how to milk goats, Gracie? Do you like that? You want to try to do it? Mm -hmm. You want some help? Okay, put your hands on my hand. Right. You did it! Kind of cool having them in the yard, huh? I love it. The deck's right there, and we were sitting on the deck eating our ice cream cones. <laughs> Watching the goats. It was really fun. Brian and I are locked and loaded. We're going deer hunting. It's not deer season, but there's deer down here in the yard. Here they are, bud. Those are the half tame deer that sometimes run through our neighborhood and I would never do anything to hurt them but this little daisy BB gun wouldn't even puncture your skin if it shot you if you shot someone. You can't yell at those deer and scare them off and I don't mind having deer around but I like them to stay out of the yard and stay in the woods at least during daytime business hours. Everyone's so tired out from this really great day of work and play. These boys were both sleeping. Everyone was resting. They just woke up. So they're having a little snack and then we'll take you for a quick walk outside and just show you a couple things that we did today. Is that a yummy little snack? And you're sitting with your brother? Ooh, you got several options there. Leftover lunch. Yum. All right, here we go. The goats are still outside eating grass. They're in one of the parts of the lawn that grows the fastest. So I'm hoping I can delay starting to mow by a week. If we put them out here, 
a part of every day for the next little bit. Come on, buddy, walk with me. We had to make a spot for the goats that was out of the way of where we'll bring in fence posts and we'll be working on the fence. Hey, everybody. I'm gathering eggs now. Really encouraged right now because due to my procrastination, also my lack of knowledge of the locust post market right now, just a couple days ago, I wasn't sure if I was gonna even be able to find the post that I needed. So I found a guy who lives quite a ways down the road and he's gonna be able to deliver some larger locust posts early next week. These posts are more expensive, but I'm willing to pay a higher price for them because larger posts will last longer. And I'll tell you what, even if we don't finish this project this week or next week, I wanna do it right. I wanna put a fence in now that'll last us for 20, 30, 40 years if possible. So I would rather move a little slower and spend a little more money and do this right, rather than throw some tiny little posts in there that are gonna end up rotting out you know, in 10 years. So here's some of the posts I was able to buy today. I have a pile here for this bracing system. I have a pile up there for that bracing system around the gate that'll go through towards the garden area. And then there's one pile down here as well that'll do the H bracing from the barn up that little hill and start the fence off at the barn. I'm also encouraged because of two other conversations I had. One was with our friend who's gonna help us with fencing. He's gonna come out next Wednesday. And he is like a fencing master. And he's bringing out an incredible tool. It's a post driver and it can drive pretty much any post. He's gonna help us lay out the fences and get our braces in the ground. The other encouraging conversation I had was with one of our neighbors who watches our YouTube channel and he just is so sweet and so kind and he just stopped by and it was just really encouraging. One thing he told me, he said, don't work too hard while you're young and I thought that's amazing advice. Sometimes I feel like there's so much to do here. How can I get it all done? And I wanna just go, go, go. But I know I have to pace myself and remember that I have time and I also have higher priorities than just getting stuff done. Our friends who came over earlier really helped us out, helped us unload the posts around the field. Also, he helped me drag down some more cedar trees off this hillside. This is a giant job and it's gonna, I'm gonna spread this out over a couple weeks. So, so much thanks to our good friends who came out here and helped us out today. Really encouraged us just by their presence. Honestly, we haven't seen much of them for several months. So that was really, really nice. You wanna go inside, bud? You're a little chilly? All right, let's go. I'm gonna give myself a little challenge. I'm gonna to try to edit this video in two hours. Editing for us generally takes three, four, or five hours. So the problem is that I've just been having such a hard time getting up early in the morning. I'm a big believer in getting up early, but it's really hard when you stay up late to get up early. And this is such a balance for us. You know, a lot of people say, well, just cut your editing time back, do really simple videos. But we really want to keep our videos totally fun to watch, and that requires some work. So the challenge I'm setting for myself is to try a two hour edit. Just limit my time to two hours, and that's gonna mean the videos are gonna be a little bit longer, possibly. So we're gonna see what I can do tonight so I can get a nice early start Wait, I don't need to get a nice early start tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Well, I might get a nice early start on having a great day tomorrow. Thank you all for joining us. It was indeed another great day on the homestead. And we will see you all on Tuesday. Oh, and a little announcement. We have a really cool guest coming to visit tomorrow. She's a YouTuber as well. We just love her videos. They're so beautiful and really pleasant to watch. So they're coming out to see our animals 
and just meet us and get to know us a little bit. We may end up shooting a vlog tomorrow while they're here and then not shooting one on Monday. Either way, video on Tuesday. We'll see you there.